And you're thinking, what are you doing with a jerry can and a rubber hose? Well, ladies and gentlemen, come gather around, come gather around, come gather around. Today, uh, we're fixing a failed fuel pump. I spent all day trimming hedges and cedars and pruning trees and got a huge load of stuff to take to the dump, put it in the back of the truck, drove to the dump, dumped, and uh, she doesn't run. So uh, I tried jumpering everything I could, bypassing the fuel pump relay, running the fuel pump directly, checking I got voltage, and I ain't got nothing. So we're draining the fuel, siphoning the fuel, so we can drop the tank, because I'm looking forward to that. Alright, I guess she's empty. Okay. me. Just as empty as I think we're going to be. I really don't want to do this. So now we see if it's as user friendly as I intended it to be. Had it towed home. Because I can't exactly work on it. Ah, at the dump. Well, that's convenient. But not the actual fitting, that's not convenient. There's no real manual on this. I mean, I built it. The problem with that is you're like, oh, this totally makes sense. I can remember how to do this. And then you got to do it. And like, I don't remember how to do this. So we've got a rubber coupler between the tank and the filler. The filler is, I don't know, two inch stainless pipe, tubing, muffler pipe, stainless. And so I've got a little rubber coupler, which attaches with some fuel filler hose. to be able to break that coupler off. Oh, I don't know if we can. gonna come loose. I think I need to get the vent line off. I'd like to show you what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. It's entirely by feel. Lucky for me, I feel good. So the filler and the vent are loose. Oh, go away. being not fun to get out. Maybe I won't take it all the way out. Filler hose is off. Hope that's empty. It smells like it'll explode. And I have a fuel fitting uh, up here. In theory I can get it apart with these. Uh, in theory. They're not attached to anything. They're attached to each other. I can do this. Oh man. It's like I thought it through. One of these. 
Okay, so I seem to have designed it with the fuel outlet connected to the return together, but the two of them come out with the tank. If I disconnect, if I split the line, I got the fuel inlet goes to a fuel filter, which I undid. And then we got the return which I'm trying to undo. Sometimes in the enthusiasm of building a vehicle you don't always think about how are you going to service this? Because I don't know if your cars are totally reliable, mine are not. And then how do you deal with that? When it's not reliable, then you got to get in there and fix it. Can you get in there and fix it? That's the question. Apparently, the fuel pump ground is nicely accessible. It's like I thought that through. Doesn't sound like me. Advantage, it's only 1,400 kilometers, zero winters, maybe five rainfalls. Everything comes apart nice. Testament to why you should always wear use never sees. Don't wear never sees. Unless you're going to one of them crazy West End parties where you go and just body paint, in which case you could wear never sees. One year I went as a tin man. It was a little awkward. fuel lines like I designed it apparently. The return and the feed. Nice. And there's the power in the ground and the hose clamp I lost. Oh, like what is this doing here? Oh I plugged it. Okay good. much in it that's nice now we open it up and find out there's a wire broke off because that's what I figure happened this is gonna be this this will be the same on your own vehicles only with more swearing there's apparently a fancy tool you can buy to do this mine's called a screwdriver I don't see any death. Well, let's test this with some voltage. That looks melted. All right. It's not good at all. Here's the connection that I used. I don't know if this is original or I made it, I don't remember. But that's your ground connection, okay? To me, it kind of seemed like pretty small connection. The wire thickness is fine, but this is a problem. And this is the positive side. And I don't know if you can see this, but uh, this is it melting its way out of the plastic connector. This part plugs into the bottom of the pickup, the, the hat, and this thing is slowly turning itself into oblivion. So it wasn't a very good connection in here, and it is working its way into burning the truck to the ground.
the repaired one. You pump wire goes to like, I think it's 10 gauge, 8 gauge, 12 gauge. So whatever this is from the Walboro pump, I went to 12 gauge wire. And then I'll give you some lights so you can see what I've done inside here. The pins that originally came out of here, I've crimped and soldered to. So that's permanent. The next thing to melt will probably be the wires in here. I'm hoping not. So we'll see. It's still at least as fat a wire as what's going to the pump, so it can't be far bad. So put this back in and uh, make a go with that. All right, we're back at her again with another one. Before I fill it all up, it might might be worthwhile to see if it even buzzes. I'm not sure if I hear it or not. Pretty sure, pretty sure it's going. So let's fill it up. All right, moment of truth. So we learned a couple things today. One, it's a good idea to make your car serviceable in the unlikely or likely event that you need to repair it. Think ahead to, can I get this thing apart with a minimum of annoyance? I also learned I still don't like these. <laughs> I just use regular wrenches. All right, anodized coating be darned. And uh, we're back together. So we're running. This is cool. Uh, let's see if I can get stranded on my way to work tomorrow. So. Hooray! Good for dump runs. 
As always, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you again.